Hello, good morning. I've just been to a very exciting session on the therapies in macrophage activation syndrome by Dr. Crohn's, Barron's and Benetti. One of the uh, key things is about these conditions is that they produce a, a cytokine storm resulting in patients feeling very unwell. And if left uncontrolled, this can lead to quite bad outcomes. But in today's session, we have looked at new therapies. We know about interleukin-1 inhibition with anakinra, and that's been used for some time now in a very safe and effective treatment for treating conditions like macrophage activation syndrome and the associated HLH. But today we have also explored other options by understanding the mechanism of action of how these conditions work. Firstly, there's the increased production of interferon gamma, and today we looked at the possibility of inhibiting interferon gamma. There's an early study, a late-breaking breaking abstract at the ACR here today, looking at how the inhibition of interferon gamma can lead to good outcomes. Another two other options are to inhibit interleukin-18 and also interleukin-33. These are novel therapeutic targets. At the moment, they have been studied in mice, but this could be eventually be something that possibly could be translated into humans and could be, again, another very exciting option to treat these very difficult uh, conditions. So from where we were only probably a few years ago where we had uh, high-dose corticosteroids and the use of interleukin-1, now we are seeing new options including interferon gamma, IL-18 and IL-33 as new potential therapeutic targets to treat macrophage activation syndrome and also all the associated cytokine storm syndromes that come along with it. So I think this is a really welcome uh, therapeutic option for treating these conditions which hopefully will lead us to better outcomes for our patients. Thank you very much.